Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sinking City. We just came to the expedition uh, center, I suppose. And this door's been kicked in. And it looks like people have been rummaging through all the stuff, which is, you know, fantastic. What the? We'll follow that in a second. Dangers of diving. Divers with the bends can suffer numerous symptoms. Nu numerous? Numerous symptoms, including pain, impaired movement, nausea, vomiting, and disorientation. Acute symptoms can occur within 10 minutes of surfacing and include paralysis, numbness, blindness, deafness, dizziness, seizures, confusion, or words coming out all weird. The paralysis and numbness can involve several different parts of the body at the same time. This is a real danger of diving, and I guess something that they're investigating to try and get an answer for what the hell's been going on with everybody. Someone smashed it beyond repair. What is this, like a gramophone? Yeah, it's a record player. Okay. I guess. Are a few damp papers all that's left of the expedition? Been ransacked heavily. Oh, there's something back here. Gunpowder and alcohol. Okay, where are these guys taking us? Look at all like glyphs on the walls and things. What the? Whoa. Are you... What? Partially burned cargo manifest. The following must be delivered to Grimhaven Bay, no later than Friday. Diving suits, air tanks, food, personal belongings, research equipment, air pipes, phone station wires, power generator. Grimhaven Bay. New mine palace clue. Cargo from the expedition was taken to Grimhaven Bay Pier. Okay. I guess we can follow up there. Jesus! Whoa! <laughs> what is this guy doing down here? Oh, are you kidding me? Seriously? What the frick? Maybe he stayed behind to make sure nobody was going to come, and then we did. Uh, guess this helmet's beyond repair. I, I kind of hope that there's less combat. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right way of saying it, but I kind of hope there's less combat than investigating because it is slightly on the janky side. Okay, okay, okay. Hold up. Drop the papers. Smash the rest. Oh, that's a voice. Why would they... Okay, I guess they just want to wreck things. We don't have time to pick it. Stand back. Will they kick the door in? Rummage through the papers. I Say some weird Latin. Oh, look at this. Maybe they're casting that spell to put up those uh, like illusory walls. 
Yeah, that's what they're doing there. Burn it all. Make sure you get the adverts. Time to figure this out. Okay, well. We will start at the beginning. Gotta be here. We don't have time to take it. Step. Grab the papers. Smash the rest. I fatal. May I fail. Burn it all. Make sure you get the adverts. Several men broke into the expedition headquarters. What they didn't smash, they burned. The archives, even the newspapers. Pillaged headquarters. Whoa. Trippy. The expedition headquarters was vandalized by Innsmothers. They burned all the expedition archive, even the newspapers. The expedition archive is lost, but I still have clues to follow up on. They left the city on a freighter from Grimhaven Bay, because we got that from the cargo manifest. Might be recent postings or ads about the freighter in the Oakmont Chronicle. Oh, all right. All right. So now we've got the manifest, the precognition thing that we saw. And burn newspapers we need to follow up on. So we're going to have to go probably to investigate that at the Chronicle and view those archives, right? Yeah. And see the little uh, book thing there? If we look here... Yeah, search archives, so... Robert Throckmorton will be waiting for my report in his manor in Southern Old Grove. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, but we're probably going to head back here. Actually, if we look at the secondary cases and then go to our map, there was this one that we marked. So we'll, we'll head there first just to see what it's like. Let's check upstairs too. Ooh. Heels. H. Doe, anthropologist. The Oakmont University Department of Anthropology welcomes the newest addition to its ranks. Professor Harriet Doe, her brilliant discoveries about the origin of Inuit tribes, have added a new page to the history book of humanity. Now, Professor Doe will embark on a new expedition to hopefully shed light on the source of the flood and in doing so, shed light on what may yet be to come. Oh. These samples glitter in a weird way. I wonder where they came from. I'm gonna just throw this out there and suggest maybe the sea. Fisherman reports, Al Sullivan and B. Morgan, local fishermen, report numerous large bubbles and an unbearable stench rising from the bottom of the sea. Bought a sample of a weird substance floating in the ocean from Jay Harway. He claims he found it amongst numerous dead and strangely deformed fish. The fish were taken for analysis. Several locals mentioned a rock that rose from the seabed, making the fog shine in different colors. The witnesses felt sick and dizzy for two or three days after the incident. L.P. Stern got severe burns after chiseling off a part of the rock in his basement. Samples taken for analysis. Map of Cape Cod. It looks like there was something here, but it's been erased. What the? These guys weren't lacking for equipment. They're slightly lacking in floors. Could be worse. Can't say I ever saw another shell like it. All evidence collected. We get a lot of XP when we get all the evidence, it seems. Okay, and then this is what we saw from the bottom. Um, the broken flooring. Well, it's absolutely no doubt, obviously, that everything that's happening is originating from the sea. That part, I think everyone's on board with, right? Let's go around here. Now, let's let's actually review this too because 
Lullaby Crossroad. So if we look in our case book here. Today I fell asleep on the street. I'm sure it's connected to my vision somehow because I felt the same nausea and headache as before they strike. It happened in Coverside near the corner of Tanner Street and Old Church Road. I felt dizzy and my mouth was full of bittersweet taste. I saw a woman with kind eyes giving me a drink and whispering something. Immediately after that, I fell asleep and spent nearly half the day lying in the dirt like a hobo. It's a miracle no one stole anything from me. Spooky out here at night. Holy... Infested area? Great. Just great. Oh, that's gotta be... This has gotta be it, right? Are we in the infested area? Well, I'm getting there. <laughs> Whoa. Is that something I can kill even? <laughs> Whoa. Yikes! I'm wasting a lot of ammo, that's for sure. And I'm losing my mind! What the? Holy hell. Okay, 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 everybody simmer down. Simmer down. Keep sweeping. Okay, so I'm guessing that stuff that we found there, there's some like, uh... Did that hurt me or is that just in my head? Man. So we see this. Now, technically that infestation is back here. Oh, we can crouch. I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm not doing anything to him. All right, I'm out of here. Okay. Okay. To the archives we go. Oh, but see, there's also this. Hold up. So maybe... Well, to be fair, another one of those articles could be about this. These guys are just killing each other. Okay. We'll see once we start checking out some of those other ones, some of these other letters, if those connections make sense. Nice. I should actually pin this to the thing that we're specifically working on. Find the needed newspaper advertisement. This is the 
police department. Oh, fast travel. There we go. But there's these things we can, like, jump between. Just try and keep an eye out for those phone booths. Because I imagine as this expands, there's going to be times where we're not going to want to walk from one district to another. This kind of reminds me more of a theater than a newspaper, just with the way that marquee comes out. Okay, so what specifically are we going to be looking for here? The expedition headquarters is vandalized by the Innsmouth. They burned all the edition archive, even the newspapers. Um, still have clues to follow up on. They left the city on a freighter from Grimhaven Bay. Recent postings are ads about the freighter in the Oakmont Chronicle. You'll often need to look for useful information within various city archives. They contain topical information. For example, City Hall holds general data about citizens and organizations, while info about specific categories of people like criminals or patients can be found in police or hospital records. Okay, hospitals have it too. In the casebook, evidence may have a hint icon indicating you need to do some archive research. In the archive interface, select the piece of evidence you wish to investigate, then choose three criteria to search for relevant information. Search conducted with the correct evidence or criteria will result in new information being added to the casebook. All right. So, uh, burn newspapers, yes. Then we want to go... I'm guessing after the flood, right? I would say. Officials, celebrities, commoners, journalists. Commoners. Uh, and it said adverts, didn't it? They burned all the adverts? But then we also have Grimhaven Bay. Let's see. Ah, okay, that'll work. The 30-ton Titania is currently available for hire. You'll find it fully equipped for transport, as well as the aiding of underwater ventures and exploration. For the price of 70 rifle bullets, or the equivalent thereof per week, those interested are urged to contact Jeremiah Sanders for contracting details. He can be found at Pier 3, Oakmont Port, Grimhaven Bay. Pier 3, Oakmont Port, Grimhaven Bay. This is the po- yeah, so down here. Okay. Which means we're gonna have to take this boat, cruise all the way down here. So I, th I don't think we need to have that pinned anymore. I guess this is the one we want pinned. Yeah, cool. Okay, so we're going to take a right, and then we're going to go left, left, right, left. Totally stuck here? Well, that's great. What if I choose to, like, swim through? Not ideal, but hopefully the boats will reset. Oh, whoa. It's killing me. That's great. <laughs> All 
All right. Now we know. So what do I if we get if we get <laughs> if we get the boat stuck? Then what? Just don't get the boat stuck. All right. Cool. So let's just go straight. Actually, we can just go straight down here. That guy's losing it. Well, some of these guys have a way better setup. But this is free, so I can't really complain. I'm a bit concerned about that enemy that we saw, because bullets... Obviously, we missed him a couple times, but even when we were hitting him, didn't seem to be doing anything. get like into this port somewhere here we go this is where the police were blocking originally Was that him? Hey, hey, help. Help. What's going on? Sea creatures swarmed over the piers. I hid here, but these walls won't stand up to them. Please help me. What are you talking about? What, what, what creatures? What are you talking about? Wild beasts. They came to feast on the blood. They eat the dead. I'm looking for Captain Sanders. Is he here in the port? Did the creatures get him? Uh, I saw Sanders. Help me. I, I, I'll tell you what I know. Combat. If you're crouched, hostiles are less likely to detect you. Okay. Enemies ha may harm your sanity as well as health. Some enemies have unique abilities that may come as an unpleasant surprise, but most have weak points too. Ammo and supplies are scarce. Scavenging, crafting, and crest rewards are the only sources of supplies. Guns are not going to reload themselves. Okay, so they have weak points as well. I mean, on those guys, it's pretty obvious where it is. But So we need to clear this for him. I suppose. Uh, let's get into some of this. Make some bullets. I realized before we crouch accidentally. Nice. Ah, there we go. Nice. The harbor's been cleared. Okay, that wasn't too bad.
skill-wise, so I'm thinking most of this mine stuff is going to be better. No charity. Gain a 50% chance to double quest rewards. Remain sane for longer. Remain sane far longer than any ordinary human. More crafting materials. Or more experience from all sources. Again, I think I'm just going to stack this experience if I can. So that we gain the levels faster. I've dealt with the creatures. Now, tell me about Sanders. He got back several hours ago. Those things, they came because of him. What do you mean, because of him? What happened on the Titania? It was horrible. A damn massacre. I heard the shots. I went out. I saw the whole thing. Sailors bleeding, dying. Blood hit the water, and then... Well... Then the wild beasts came to feast. This Sanders. What kind of man is he? Uh, newcomer. He seemed like a decent guy. Okay, Captain. Treated his crew well. I gotta find Sanders. Where is he? Saw him get away. Just after the shooting. Ran for the pier. Didn't see where he went after that. Did, uh... Did you see anyone else from the expedition? No. Only Sanders. I'd bet my life no one else made it back. Sounds very confident. Okay, so the 30-ton ship Titania is currently available for hire. You'll find it fully equipped for transport. Yeah, Pier 3, that's what we already know. Fine. Burn documents and he's fled from the port when the fight on the Titania started. I don't think these are related. No. Okay, well, let's look for clues. Or, you know, we could just search the garbage for our own peace of mind. Oh, this guy. Hello. They emptied every chamber. Ah, oh, still stinks of burnt powder. So this was very recent then? Shot dead. Point blank. I guess so if that guy, because he ran and hid and... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh yeah, just some random body parts. Uh, the monsters sure didn't leave behind much. Okay, there's the Titania. Uh, the monsters sure didn't... Gotta be out of your head to do this to a man. Out of your head, yeah, exactly. Whoa, frick, these things. Similar to, well, what we believe They're happened with the Inn's mother. Plenty of them Lewis? Drinking. Okay, we need to, like, chill out here. Don't look at them! We have this thing, too, right? Is that what this is? Antipsychotics? Oh, weird. Okay. You have to, like... <laughs> okay. You have to, like, aim it to use it. Oh, there's a little rift there. God. Yeah, that's normal. This would be a weird artifact in any collection. Time Charter Contract. I, Captain Jeremiah Sanders, hereby agree to take my board on board my vessel Titania any persons designated by Robert Throgmorton and the cargo detailed in the attached manifest as well as to provide them with any and all necessary assistance up to and including depth me measurements as well as diving support for underwater exploration and marine life observations aforementioned services will take place in confidential places 
for locations in Cod Bay, as well as diving support for underwater exploration and marine life observations. Afterwards, the Titania will provide transport for all passengers to the Oakmont port. Compensation will be for 70 bullets. Cape Cod. Remarks here, but they've been erased. That's the same thing as in the, uh... That's the same thing on the other map that we saw. That these markings are getting erased. Ah, you can't take me! Eat this! If I'm ever in a gunfight, that's what I'm saying. Eat this. To the mare with you. Ugh. Die, die. No more drink. All we've seen. And you telling me we ain't allowed rum? Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. Well, it obviously started with the alcohol. No more drink. Kids. Take note. All we've seen. You have a drink. You, telling me you start fighting with run. axes, chasing Turn each the other. Mare with you. And then somebody die, die. gets shot. Uh, Every time. You can't take me. Eat this. For whatever reason, the crew went berserk. Only one man got away. See now. Key evidence collected. Nice, nice. All evidence too. Okay, so there was a there was a couple of um, interesting discussions happening after we made our first kind of accusation about the inn's mother, and uh, one of them was that he he like intentionally chased the guy, so he couldn't have been crazy. He couldn't have been afflict, afflict, or afflicted by this uh, thing or this sickness or disease or whatever from the sea because he chased the guy. But here you see them; they're all chasing each other and seemingly all afflicted by this craziness that's happening. Uh, you could construe that maybe it's the alcohol, but I, I doubt it. There, there was a fight among the crew. Only one man survived, though he was badly wounded in the shoulder. Mind Palace. Sanders fled the wounded soldier. These two probably, right? The harbor master saw Captain Sanders leaving the pier. The only survivor of the fight on the third pier of Grimhaven Bay was a man badly wounded in the shoulder. Captain Sanders is the wounded man and is now seeking medical aid. So if he's seeking medical aid... So, okay. Wounded man now seeking medical aid. And this says to check... This is an archives thing. So they mentioned that we would have the... If we look here... Where is it? Archives. So... City Hall... Criminals and patients, police and hospitals. So we definitely want to go to the hospital next, which was up here, right? Hospital of St. Mary. Yeah. So we're going to head here next, try and find information on this guy. Uh, between now and the next episode, I'm going to mark all of these side cases, these letters from Oakmont, and I want to see what pops up so that we can check things on the way and figure out how those work exactly. So anyways, thank you guys so much. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.